Hi everyone. Hello. We've got something cool to show you today and it's the fact that we're playing music on an oscilloscope to generate these pictures. You may ask though, what is an oscilloscope? So an oscilloscope is basically a tool that we use in the lab to measure voltages throughout time. Yeah, it's a really good piece of lab equipment to visualize what's going on in your experiment or in a circuit. To get this working you need your oscilloscope on XY mode. So essentially you've got a signal in the X and a signal in the Y. So if I draw those signals as being basically sine waves, so we've got one coming in from the left ear of the headphone and one coming in from the right ear into channel 1 and channel 2, what is actually being displayed on the oscilloscope is essentially a grid of left and right amplitudes. So the amplitude of the incoming wave in the left gives you a coordinate point and the incoming amplitude on the right also gives you a coordinate point and that's plotted. You could just have that as a dot. But since your signal is varying, you're going to get a bunch of dots and you can draw a circle or anything more complicated. We needed a way to get input essentially from my phone into the oscilloscope and so we actually started off with a pair of headphones and then did a bit of soldering, a bit of slicing them up uh, to get a bit of a monstrosity here. James, explain it. <laughs> so we start off with some basic headphones like this. Now headphones have three contact points. You have the top two which are, depending on which ones, one of them is the left, one of them is the right headphone and the bottom one here is the ground. Here we have the left and the right headphones which are then connected via these BNC cables to be channel 1 and channel 2 of the oscilloscope. So this side is looking at the left headphone sound that's coming out and channel 2 here is looking at the right headphone sound. As you might be able to see, it's all sort of on a slight diagonal slant. It's not the greatest quality of image. So the reason for this is, as you might be able to tell, this oscilloscope is pretty old, probably made in the 70s or the 80s. And it's not as good as it used to be. It's slightly damaged. So instead of one axis being completely vertical, it's actually on a 45 degree slope. So all these spirals seem to be also on a 45 degree slope. So this music is all being played directly from YouTube right now from a guy called Jero Beam and I'll link down to his um, songs because he shows you in like the highest quality what it's supposed to look like and if you have your own oscilloscope maybe you can give it a try too.